going to go down. That's why they're so damn afraid of Donald Trump, because he said on national TV, look what he did. He went on national TV in front of the world and said that Hillary Clinton should be in jail because she's a felon and not one person could say that it wasn't true. That's harsh, man. That's very harsh. Yeah. If, if it wasn't true, they would sue him for slander. They would crucify him. And they, they would crucify him. But everybody knows it's true, and Jesus she can't Christ. prove that's, it. That's, that, oh she has gosh. to sit there and keep her mouth shut because the whole world knows she's a damn criminal. And there was a scandal in uh, Alberta, Canada, right? The, the huge fire that, that hit Alberta, Canada, right? That was a huge scam, actually. They were uh, extracting illegal uranium from Alberta. They found a huge source there, and they had to remove it without anybody seeing it. So they created a huge fire to evacuate uh, the place entirely. And then the only personnel who did not have to evacuate were who, who, who would you think? The Clintons, right? So their foundation, uranium, they stayed there while everybody else had to evacuate, and they, they they had uh, 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 these aerial pictures of these trucks from Uranium One, you know, uh, the only things that were moving around, you know, while everybody else evacuated. So I gather that they were moving stuff that they don't want, they didn't want to register anywhere. So this this information I got from the military who sent me an email on our channel. Very interesting information. Uranium One, that's a very interesting company they have. The Clintons, both of them. They have the, 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 the second largest uranium industry in the world why would they have that yes they had the no i was just saying that this i just recently when there was a debate between the vice presidential candidates and again i don't care about these bastards but right uh, this the one of them looked really stupid when he uh he suggested that the reason why they want to make peace with russia is because donald trump wants to pursue business deals with, with russia and i'm thinking how retarded is that you, you know so what business what's, what would be wrong with business deals with russia why? You know, what's what's wrong with that? <laughs> they want to take over the whole country and steal everything as if they can't. You can't take over Russia. This is how greedy these bastards are. They think they look at Russia as a huge source of, of wealth and they, and they want they want to steal it. They think that it's a huge, huge amount of real estate and they think that they need to own it. Kind of like the way that uh, China right now is looking at Australia. They want to own Australia. Yeah. Do you know that China thinks that? When World War III breaks out, that they're just going to take Australia. That's that's the prize that they've got their eyes on. Really? Oh yeah, that's their plan. No, oh my, oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Well, I know they're, they've been buying um, big territories here, yeah, Brazil. Uh, yeah, well, they're not going to take over Brazil. They are going to take over Australia because there's not that many people in Australia, and it's a huge amount of land. Right. Anything? You know? Anything in particular? What do you mean, anything in particular? The whole damn country. I mean, like well, alien treasures or anything that's valuable, uranium or, I don't know, resource. Uh, yeah, farmland, food. Right. Living, living space. Okay. You know, they've got a billion Chinese. They're looking right. for places yeah. to spread yeah. out. My gosh. They look at, uh, they look at Australia. Why not Brazil? China. Why not Brazil? Because it's full of people. It's not. It's not empty. No, it's, it's empty. It's empty. It's actually empty. Yeah. I mean, Australia is empty. No, Brazil's like uh, the, the, everything near the coastline is okay, it's full, because that, that's true, but everything but far away Brazil, from the coastline Brazil's is... Brazil's controlled by the Nazis, okay? The United States is a Zionist, right? Or the... Or both the United States is a Zionist and the Nazis. Right. For example, why are there so many Jews in Manhattan nowadays? That's my question, you know. Well, that's just because it's uh, a... a, a a geographical demographical area where they've congregated and, and situated just like so many different cultures have done that but but you could say that about many cultures there's more irish in new york than there are in ireland there's more jews than there are in in, in israel you know and on and on and on i think they're doing something with the weather Stephen. you know they're trying to do something with the weather i don't know what it is it's going crazy you know the, the temperature is crazy everywhere you know i don't know if you noticed this mm, perhaps but uh you know it's not a big issue. I mean, it's not the major issue. Yeah, of course. I, I just believe that the bunkers, they may be for their protection of whatever's coming. You know what I mean? Uh, well, of course, yeah. Oh, okay. For that okay. and everything. Every, anything, any possibility. Any possibility, right? I don't, I, don't actually, I don't actually know what's coming. For example, I don't have a clue on what's coming. You know, if it's artificial or, or not, you know, whatever. Um, I just, I, I don't see them t doing another nuclear war. You know what I mean? Throwing nuclear bombs around, but well, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Exactly. Exactly. Hopefully not. Exactly.
but then again, Israel is another story because they will have no qualms about doing it. And I, I, I kind of suspect that if there are any nukes flying at all, it's going to be coming from Israel. That's going to be pointed at Damascus. Israel's not going to attack Palestine because Israel is Palestine. Already doing like there, uh, I've been reading about police doing the same thing, you know, like doing the new world order thing, you know, that agenda, you know, like making the people afraid of the police, you know, like hitting young boys and girls there, you know. Yeah, yeah, the Israeli police are teaching the American police how to be proper Nazis and fascists. Yeah, right. That's what they're doing, right? Jesus Christ. Pretty much. Pretty much, yes, exactly. That's pretty much what they're doing. And uh, this is getting stronger. I, I, I just hope that it stops. Uh, I hope that Donald Trump, if he gets elected, you know, he, all that you said about him, him is true. You know what I mean? Like, really. It would be well, they're going to fight. Obviously, they're not. Even if Donald Trump does get elected, and even if they are not able to kill him, they're still going to fight him very hard. But what I mean is they're going to resist because when he gets elected, he's going to have to work very hard to fix all these different things. And he's going to also have to bring the criminals to justice. And those people who are many are going to resist him. In other words, everybody in Congress and what have you are going to fight him. But the problem, the thing is, is that when he gets in there, all of the crimes will start getting prosecuted. That's the difference. The Illuminati, the Illuminati card, this 1994 Illuminati card, which depicts Donald Trump being assassinated because he were, was talking too much. He were, he was president. In this card, he was president, elected president, and he gets assassinated. Do you think they would try to do this? Of course they're going to try to do it. Now, how would they do this? I mean, who would they, who, who would they put in place, in charge? Vice president. Who's going to be his vice president? Some guy named Pence. So that's already decided? Yeah. Okay, so who's this guy? we got to focus on this guy. Mm, no, we don't. We're going to focus on the, nobody getting assassinated. You're kidding me. John, Donald they probably Trump would have killed him already. Right. Why, why, why can't they kill him? Because Steve? it's time for them to go away. Their time is over. Okay. That's why. Good night, everybody. This is my name is well, my name is Stephen Kelly, and and your host tonight's name is James the Frog Impossible Channel. Thank you very much, Stephen, for being here with us, man. Adios. All these, these bastard criminals are going to go down. That's why they're so damn afraid of Donald Trump. Because he said on national TV, look what he did. He went on national TV in front of the world and said that Hillary Clinton should be in jail because she's a felon. And not one person could say that it wasn't true. That's harsh, man. That's very harsh. Yeah. If, if it wasn't true, they would sue him for slander. They would crucify him. And they, they would crucify him, but everybody knows it's true, and Jesus she can't Christ. prove that's, it. That's, that, oh she has gosh. to sit there and keep her mouth shut because the whole world knows she's a damn criminal. And there was a scandal in uh, Alberta, Canada, right? The, the huge fire that, that hit Alberta, Canada, right? That was a huge scam, actually. They were uh, extracting illegal uranium from Alberta. They found a huge source there, and they had to remove it without anybody seeing it. So they created a huge fire to evacuate uh, 
the place entirely and then the only personnel who did not have to evacuate were who who, who would you think the Clintons right so their foundation uranium one they stay there and while everybody else had to evacuate and they they, they had a, 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 these aerial pictures of these trucks from uranium one you know the only things working around you know while everybody else evacuated so I gather that they were moving stuff that they don't want they didn't want to register anywhere so this this information I got from the military who sent me an email on our channel very interesting information uranium one that's a very interesting company they have Clintons both of them they have the, 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 the second largest uranium industry in the world it's gonna go down that's why they're so damn afraid of Donald Trump because he said on national TV, look what he did. He went on national TV in front of the world and said that Hillary Clinton should be in jail because she's a felon. And not one person could say that it wasn't true. That's harsh, man. That's very harsh. Yeah. If, if it wasn't true, they would sue him for slander. They would, why would they have that? Yes, they have the... No, I was just saying that this. I, just recently when there was a debate between the vice presidential candidates and again i don't care about these bastards but right uh, this the one of them looked really stupid when he uh he suggested that the reason why they want to make peace with russia is because donald trump wants to pursue business deals with with russia and i'm thinking how retarded is that crucify him and they, they, they would crucify him but everybody knows it's true and Jesus she can't Christ. prove that's, it that's that oh she has gosh. to sit there and keep her mouth shut because the whole world knows she's a damn criminal and there was a scandal in uh, Alberta, Canada, right? The, the huge fire that, that hit Alberta, Canada, right? That was a huge scam, actually. They were uh, extracting illegal uranium from Alberta. They found a huge source there, and they had to remove it without anybody seeing it. So they created a huge fire to evacuate uh, the place entirely. And then the only personnel who did not have to evacuate were who, who, who would you think? The Clintons, right? So their foundation, uranium one, they stay there and while everybody else had to evacuate. And they, they, they had a, 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 these aerial pictures of these trucks from uranium one, you know, the only things that were moving.